In this video we will work on the discussion component. The NG model directive creates a form control instance from a domain model and binds it to a form control element. Inside the discussion HTML we create a button with the bootstrap classes btn, btn dark and margin bottom 3 and give it the text discuss quote. We also give the button a class of btn block. We create a form and a form group inside of the form. The first form group consists of a label and an input for first name. Input has the type text, the class form control, and we name it first name. Below the form group we create a button and give it the classes btn, btn warning and btn block, with the text discuss. We want the form to be initially hidden and the ability to toggle it. In the discussion component class, we create the property display form and set it to the boolean false. We give our button a click event that toggles the boolean by setting display form equal to not display form. We add the card and card body class to the form's outer diff and use ng if display form which will toggle the form when the button is clicked. We want three more form groups, so we copy and paste the first name form group. We change the label and input name to last name, faf quote, and interpretation. Inside the character interface we also add an optional string for interpretation. We need to import the character interface into the discussion component from its file path. Inside the discussion component class, we create a character property set to the character interface type. We set first name, last name, faf quote and interpretation to an empty string as the input is initially blank. We open the square brackets and put parentheses with ng model inside. We set this equal to character dot first name for the first name input. Since we are dealing with the forms module we need to import it into our app module file from at angular forms with a small f. We add the forms module to our imports array and close the file. Back in the discussion component we add string interpolation for the character first name. When we type into the first name field ng model changes the string interpolation output since they're together. We add ng model to the remaining input to bind the last name favorite quote and interpretation for the form fields. We used string interpolation at the bottom that displays the favorite quote and interpretation for the character. We can see that typing into these fields updates the text in real time. 